the third episode of The Thirst Trap. And in this episode, we're in the London borough of Islington to check out a new spot, which happens to be a tiki paradise. And as a rum boss, I'm a man on a mission to seek top rum cocktails at any cost. Through rain, wind, snow, I'm seeking out only the best. The bar in the community has been hyping up Lucky Kane. I'm here in Champions League level of cocktails and phenomenal service. So let's see Wagwan and give this a rum boss blessing. I picked out my choice of cocktails that I'll be tasting later on. The whole menu selection looks so vibrant. I'm pretty much sport for choice here. This is gonna be very exciting. Okay, time to get out of the cold and enter this tiki paradise. Cheers! My goodness, this place looks like a madness. Pure tiki charm in every inch of this place. The colors, the plants, the ornaments, the decor. The bartender has just recognized me. I hope he rises to the challenge and represent Lucky Kane to its finest. I already know what he's thinking just by looking at that cheeky little glare. I've got you, bro. <laughs> now then, the first cocktail on the list is named after the venue itself, the Lucky Cane. Its ingredients includes Bacardi Añejo Contrao, Capucia, Sapodilla, Coconut Water, Sugarcane Juice and Passion Fruit Juice. To my Spanish speaking followers, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know I killed out those names, but honestly, I'm working on my Spanish, so that it will soon come, it will soon come. Now, look at the preparation of our bartender here, the elegance, the swagger. Are you not entertained by this process? Because I'm surely impressed. Now then, usually when tasting tiki cocktails, I'm very familiar with most tropical ingredients coming from a Jamaican background myself. However, the Capocia and the Sapodilla are both South American fruits. So it's a great addition to bring in some new flavors on the scene. Honestly, I'm really delighted about this drink. It really does the name Lucky Cane justice. This is an elegant drink, medium to sweet finish. That sugar cane juice really gives it that softer kind of sweetness. My palate was tickling with flavors from South America and yet it was still punchy from the Bacardi and Yeho. Now, for the second drink. Let me just catch a wine on this Calypso Sour. This is a Trinidad collaboration. You see what I did there? Wine, Calypso, Trinidad, yeah, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I love a good pun. Right, onto the ingredients. We've got Angostura Amaro Liqueur, Angostura Five Year Old Rum, Coca Fruit, Orange and Lemon, and Gardenia Mix. And wow, if these ingredients sound as beautiful as the women from Trinidad, I'm really looking forward to this. Seeing Angostura Amaro Liqueur is great to see. Hasn't been out in the UK for that long. It has notes of cinnamon and subtle dark chocolate notes which complements the coca fruit and these guys are going old school with a tiki classic syrup gardenia mix gardenia mix which includes allspice cinnamon and butter this is starting to make my mouth water to be honest you know and we can't forget about that orange and lemon to give the drink balance now the drink has been dispensed in a very pretty mug we have a dehydrated orange wheel with shortbread soaked in absinthe and lit with fire! See it there? This drink comes like soca music. Loud, expressive and sweet boy. Man, this makes me want to go back to Trinidad. I need to go to a carnival, you know. The citrus aroma coming from the dry orange hits the nose even before tasting a cocktail and the shortbread is really tasty as well. The drink is pure tropical island ease. The third cocktail on the list is the Batida de Jack. We have you 
guada, cachaça, branca rum, jackfruit, banana, kaffir, sugarcane juice. This is a twist on a classical Brazilian cocktail using cachaça, simply known as the batida. And for those who don't know what cachaça is, it's a type of rum made from fermented sugarcane juice, only produced in Brazil. Batida in Portuguese means shaken or milkshake, and that's exactly what our bartender is going to do in the blender, as you can see. Now, I'm very familiar with the jackfruit, as I have it on a daily basis. It's a fruit that I personally grew up with. It's rare to see in cocktails today. And the best way to describe the flavor of jackfruit, it's almost like a pungent version of juicy fruit bubblegum. With banana, that would definitely complement the texture and flavor of jackfruit and the kaffir, which is fermented milk. This blended drink has to be one of my favorites by far. Last on the list is a very sexy looking cocktail called the Mahi Mahi. We've got rum bar overproof rum, Mount Gay black barrel rum, mango puree, tangerine sherbet, fresh lime, and blue curacao liqueur. Now, as pretty as the drink is, it's very, very important. However, the layer of flavors encapsulates Lucky Cane at its finest, providing depth of fruity flavor and a beauty in cocktail making. The Mahi Mahi, which is named after tropical fish, will indeed get your mouth wet. See what I did there, another pun? You know me, I love a good pun. <laughs> right, the blend of the mango puree and tangerine sherbet helps to carry those tropical flavors as we're using high strength rum, which is the rum bar. And the Mount Gay Black Barrel Rum brings down that harshness as it's a very good quality rum. A punchy drink, I really love this one. It's really, really tasty, man. A generous amount of crushed ice to help chill and dilute those heavy fruit flavors and some lime to give it that balance for the sweetness. Dispensing a nice tiki glass, the Mahi Mahi even has a blue colored mango slice on top as a garnish and again it's edible. Lucky Cane really brings out the best in tiki culture and provides that well needed modern take. We're gonna give this a rum bass rating of 4.5 out of five. So to summarize my visit to Lucky Cane, this is truly one of the premier cocktail bars around and is an advocate to tiki culture which really needed an update for today's market. A night out with the other half is highly recommended, they even have DJs on the weekends and if you want to party with the lads, it's an amazing place to go. This is Champions League level in every single way. And also here they do a rum masterclass and you can make your own spice rum too. Bartenders, you're going to be impressed with this place. The level, the depth of the cocktail making is truly superior. Cocktail lovers, this is the place of a tiki paradise and as rum goes, Hey guys, so Lucky Cane really transports you to a tropical paradise. The one that's been in the GQ magazine, Time Out, and also it's won an award for the best rum cocktail menu. So guys, place to be, hybrid Islington, and I'll see you on the next episode of Thirst Trap. Guys, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe on Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.